Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for TheFXEdge.com, and this is your free daily Forex video for September 2nd, 2009. One reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky business, so please don't trade any real money until you have established a proven track record on a demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to tune into tomorrow's video to stay updated. Well, excellent day, everybody. Uh, we had uh, the dollar strengthen across the board. Uh, this is exactly what we were expecting. Um, equities came down quite a bit. Uh, what happened was uh, better than expected data released in the US couldn't rally the equity markets and that's when uh, the equities gave up a lot of ground closing much lower and we're hoping to see a continuation of that this week and uh, for a further dollar rally but again every piece of economic data including the non-farm payrolls number which is the most important which gets released on Friday uh, could move the market in its own direction so uh, as of now it's still too early to say if we have a new dollar strengthening trend on our hands so we're gonna play the market as is for the next uh, 72 hours through Friday's NFP release uh, we are looking at the euro dollar currently trading at 142.17 uh, gave a lot of ground we actually broke the 142 level but we stalled around the 141.80 level uh, bounced right off of that 141.80 level and now at 142.16 uh, we could see some price consolidation up toward the 142.54 level. That's going to be our first level of resistance for the euro. Following that, we're going to see 143.50. Above 143.50, we're going to see 144.03 and 144.50. At this time, uh, we're really putting a lot of pressure uh, on most of the majors. We are looking for dollar uh, to rally and perhaps continue be below the 142 figure, uh, which is our first level of support for the euro. Uh, below that we're looking to target 141.60. Below 141.60 we're looking for the rally to continue into the 140.80 level. We could see some consolidation around the 141 level but uh, most of the support is found at the 140.80 level followed by 140.50. Moving on to the pound currently trading at 161.54 we have the home price index uh, followed by um, construction purchasers managers index coming out of the UK later on today uh, we're gonna see how that affects the pound uh, the dollar gained quite a bit of ground uh, as the pound continues to lose quite a bit of ground from that 170 level we hit uh, a few weeks ago now trading near the 162 level we're going to find more support for the pound below the uh, 61 figure at 60.33, followed by 159.82. We're also going to add this uh, low here at 161.08 uh, for yesterday's low. Uh, so that's going to be our first level of support for the pound, followed by 160.33 and 159.82. Uh, I'm going to put this level in here just uh, for now on the fly uh, because that is going to be important considering all the momentum that the dollar has had. Uh, we still may see some some drying up of, uh, of uh, dollar, uh, dollar bears here. So uh, just be very careful trading this, uh, this low near the 161 level. If the 161 level gives, we're looking for 160.33 followed by 159.82. Below that, we have 158 even. If uh, the dollar starts to give back some of its gains, we're going to see 162 even as a first area of resistance for the pound, followed by 162.50, 163.34, 163.35, 163.40. Moving on to dollar yen. We continue to see further dollar 
uh, losses as the equities continue to sell off. Uh, we can possibly also lead to some sort of a conclusion that the currency pair sell-off may have been a leading indicator for the equities uh, drying up for the bull, the bull run and the equities drying up near the 9500 level. Uh, so this is a good sign of uh, further dollar strength. We're going to continue to see this as equities uh, continue to decline. So at this time we're trading at 92.90. Our first level of support for the dollar is going to be found at 92.40 followed by 91.83. Below 91.83, we have 89.82 and 88.57. Quite a bit of gap here, but that's because of going back. We haven't seen anything uh, going back to uh, early this year in February and in uh, late January. We're also going to be looking for dollar to gain strength to the 93.27 level as first area of resistance. Followed by 93.80, 94.50, 94.80, and 95.21. Now, this, of course, we're going to watch forward to the equity uh, equities in Asia, followed by the equities in uh, Europe to see what may lead to the equities in the U.S. So, at this time, uh, we most likely will see a range between the 92.40 level and the 93.80 level for the next 12 hours until most likely the uh, the early Europe session. Uh, however, unless Asia really sells off here today following the sell-off in the equities in the US, then we may see further downside support for the yen. Looking now at the dollar Swissy on the daily. Uh, once again, dollar rallied quite nicely. Came back a little bit, but that's expected after such a sharp correction. Currently trading at 106.60. Our first level of support for the dollar is going to be found at 106.26, followed by 105.84, 105.50, and 105.27. Uh, again, we have to look at several things. We had a lot of support here, the 105.50 level, following a sharp decline in equities and a dollar rally. Uh, of course, we saw this large swing higher. So this was a great day for expectations of a dollar rally. I hope some of you were able to capitalize on that. First area of Resistance for the dollar is going to be found at 107 even, which was yesterday's high, followed by 107.40, 108, and 108.30. Again, we point out these levels of resistance because if anyone trades these numbers, level of 107, especially because it's double digits uh, with the double zeros at the end, this is going to be a very significant level. There are 50 points uh, from uh, the close of yesterday's candle to the top of the range. Uh, that's a quick 50 uh, point gain perhaps uh, trading just uh, the support and the resistance lines. So hope uh, some of you find these uh, valuable. Again, you have to be very careful when trading these because uh, even though we see a lot of times uh, that prices bounce off the support and resistance levels, it's very... You have, to, you have to have a feel for the market as uh, to far as what the price action is doing and how much higher it could go because breaking the 107 level could have easily taken it to 107.40. So placing stops, um, depending on what you see as a potential opportunity, is very important as well so that you don't lose your shirt on any one trade. Join us in the members section for a more detailed analysis. This has been Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com free daily Forex video for September 2nd, 2009. Until tomorrow, good luck trading.